Hey there everyone and welcome to this lesson where you're going to learn how to find the circumference and area of a circle. So before we learn how to do that, let's raise a few key questions. What are the properties of a circle? How can you find the circumference of a circle? And how can you find the area of a circle? So let's go ahead and explore these questions in depth. So every circle has a center point and a radius that extends out to the edge of the circle. And the circumference of a circle is the length of that line on the outside of the circle. It is the perimeter of the circle. And again, circumference is the outside length of the circle. And the formula for finding the circumference of a circle with radius r is c equals 2 pi r, or 2 times pi times r. The area of a circle represents how many square units it would take to fill in the entire inside of the circle. And the formula for finding the area of a circle is a equals pi r squared. So now that you understand the key difference between circumference, the outside of the circle, and area, the inside of the circle, let's go ahead and take a look at a few practice problems on how to apply these formulas to find both the circumference and area of a circle. Okay, so here is our first practice problem. We have to find the circumference and area of a circle with a radius of 8 meters. So correctly identifying the radius of a circle is key to finding the circumference and the area. So in this example, we know that r is equal to 8. That is given to us. And now we can use the circumference and area formulas to solve this problem since we know what r is. So let's start off with circumference. The formula for finding the circumference of a circle is c equals 2 pi r. So in this case we have c equals 2 times pi times 8 since we are replacing the radius r with 8. Now all we have to do is multiply and we can actually use the commutative property of multiplication here to rearrange the terms. So let's rewrite this as 2 times 8 times pi. And doing this lets us express our answer in terms of pi since we know that 2 times 8 is equal to 16. So if you wanted your answer in terms of pi, some questions will ask you for that, the circumference equals 16 pi. But if you want an exact answer, you have to take one further step and multiply 16 by pi, and we will get an approximate answer of 50.3 meters. So for this example, the circumference of the circle is approximately 50.3 meters. So now let's go ahead and find the area. So now we're going to use the area of a circle formula, a equals pi r squared. And again, we have to substitute r, the radius value, with 8 for this example. So now we have a equals pi times 8 squared, and now we just have to solve. So we know that 8 squared is equal to 64, so we have a equals pi times 64. So again, if you wanted the answer in terms of pi, the area would just equal 64 pi or 64 times pi, but if you wanted an exact answer, you just have to multiply 64 times pi is approximately 201.1 meters squared. And remember that area is always represented in square units. Okay, so now that you have some experience with using those circumference and area of a circle formulas, let's go ahead and take a look at another example. Okay, so here's practice problem number two, and we have to find the circumference and area of a circle with a diameter of 24 inches. So this example is a little bit different because we aren't given the radius, we're given the diameter. 
but we should know that a radius is equal to half of the diameter. So if the diameter of this circle is 24, we have to ask ourselves what number is half of 24, and we should know that that number is 12. So because we know the diameter of this circle is 24, we also know that the radius r is equal to 12. And now that we know the value of r, we are ready to use our formulas to find the circumference and area of this circle. Starting with circumference, we'll use the formula c equals 2 pi r. So in this case, c equals 2 times pi times the value of the radius, which is 12. And just like the last example, we can use the commutative property to rearrange the terms. So let's rewrite this as 2 times 12 times pi. Doing this lets us easily multiply 2 times 12, which we know equals 24. So we can leave our answer in terms of pi if we want to. Circumference of the circle equals 24 pi. Or if you want an exact answer, you can multiply 24 times pi and conclude that the circumference is approximately 75.4 inches. Now that we found the circumference, let's go on and find the area of the circle. So the area formula of a circle is a equals pi r squared. So we have a equals pi times the value of the radius, in this case 12, squared. So a equals pi times 12 squared. Now we know that 12 squared is equal to 144. So the area equals pi times 144. We can rearrange this if we want to express our answer in terms of pi. In this case, the area would equal 144 pi. Or again, if you want an exact answer, we just have to multiply 144 times pi, which is approximately 452 inches squared. So that's all there really is to it when it comes to finding the circumference and area of a circle. If you're familiar with the formulas and you know how to use them, you can solve these kinds of problems. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you with one more practice problem you can try on your own. And if you want, you can go back and rework the problems we just did too to get some more experience. But also go ahead and try this last practice problem. And I just want to thank you so much for stopping by and for learning with me. And I'll see you all next time. Hi everyone, Anthony here one last time. Hope you found that lesson to be helpful. And if you want to help us out, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. We're committed to adding new video lessons every week, and now would be the time to subscribe. So I really hope that you would consider it. And also, don't miss your chance to download your free practice worksheet that's included with this video lesson. Just click the link in the description below and you can get your download. Hope to see you all soon. Bye.